Who the hell is that? Judy, Frank, hi. Mum, Dad, what are you doing here? We're off to see your auntie up the central coast and your father wanted to borrow your e-tech. I refuse to pay for roads our taxes should be paying for. So instead I pay for it. Can't even drive out of Blacktown without paying for every second road because the government just wants to keep taxing the people who can afford it the least. And that's why we never go anywhere. I'm taking you to see your sister, aren't I? And how many drivers can you swear at on the way? How about I go get that e-tag and you guys can head up and beat the Sunday traffic? Oh, we're in no hurry. Cynthia is never ready for us on time and I'm not sitting there waiting for her to have a shower. But if you're up, I'll have a cuppa. Oh, we were actually just getting ready to head out. Where? To the... The driving markets. Mm, I don't like it there. Too dusty. We were just going to see if we could get some, um... Some items for Arlo's cubby. Where is Arlo? He's at the back in his cubby. He's having a big adventure, so we're just leaving him to play. That'd be ridiculous. I want to see his nan. Arlo, sweetie. Nanny's here. You left my dress. Mate, why don't you run out to the cubby house and get that painting you wanted to show Nanny? Okay. I think you hid it in there somewhere. Why is my grandson wearing a dress? Because he wants to. What kind of reasoning is that? I'm sure he wants to eat ice cream for dinner every night, but I hope you wouldn't let him do that. He was just playing with the girls next door and put a princess dress on himself and he was so happy he came home and asked for one. Well, I hope you gave them a piece of your mind for letting him put one on. Why would we? He likes it so he can wear it. Are you trying to make him one of them transsexuals? Seriously? No, we're just letting him be who he wants to be. He's free to wear what he likes and play with what he likes and then when he's old enough, he will decide who he is. This whole world is just getting too politically correct. Your brother is always yelling at me for sharing posts on Facebook. This has nothing to do with political correctness. Things were so much better when I was a kid. What, when you could be racist and sexist and, and homophobic without care in the world? I won't be ridiculed for believing that boys should be boys and girls should be girls. We just want him to be whoever he wants to be. Then what if he wants to be a cat? Then I'll buy him a cat's tail and he can crawl around on the floor on all fours meowing. That is ridiculous. Mum, I love you, but this is important to us. It brings him joy. He says he looks beautiful and we agree. It's all harmless right now. And we just want to encourage him to be an individual. And what if he wants to start wearing it out on weekends or, or to school? Then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Well, I don't like it at all. What do you think, Frank? Well, I do think that dress is his colour. <laughs>